Hello everybody and welcome back into the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. Today we're going to do Random Drift Vossen Edition. If you guys don't know what Vossen is, it is the one-stop shop for all your drift mods, cars, and tracks. Big thank you to Vossen for being a supporter of the channel and myself. They have a lot of my mods and everything on their site. So make sure you guys check out Vossen.co. If you guys do not know what Vossen.co is, make sure you head over there for all your drift mods and tracks and things like that. So once again, a big thank you to them for joining and becoming a supporter of the channel as well as my ESD endeavors. Can't thank Vossen enough for everything they do for the community. So let's get this random drift episode started so we're gonna go and we're gonna figure out what track we want to go first we're gonna go fun track so we're gonna go with the fun track category so there is 10 tracks per page and 24 pages so first we need to find out what page we're going to we got 24 pages of tracks we're gonna generate this to find out what track page we're going on and we're going on page 12 so we're gonna get to page 12 so on page 12 we do have a slew of tracks as you can see, we got some toge runs, some mountain passes, and of course, we have all kinds of fun tracks. So now we need to find out what track we're going on. So we got 10 tracks per this page. I'm just going to randomly click this until we randomly stop, and it's track number two. So track two on page 12 is going to be Usia Circuit. Usia, Usia. Usui, Usui, Usui circuit, maybe a Usui circuit. I said it wrong. I do apologize. So we're going to download this. So we're going to get that track downloaded. So now we need to go to individual cars. So on the individual cars, we have favorite cars, most downloaded, most popular. And then we have a slew of cars, probably about 80 cars on this page, if not some more, but we're going to break it down to about 80 to start. So we got to get our random generator going. We're going to see what number we're going on. Number six. So off on the top. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Or we can go one, two, three, four, five, six. We can do the Drift Brothers M4 or the S13 Drift Truck. Well, I feel like we've driven a lot of S chassis, so I think we're going to go with the Drift Brothers M4. Somebody made the Drift Brothers M4 Drift Car, so we're going to download that. So into Content Manager to take a look at the car that we're going to be ripping today. It is the Drift Brothers M4 Drift Car. So definitely a very interesting mod with the way they have the exhaust and everything back there, which is how it is in the Drift Brothers car. So we're going to take a look at this car here today, and we're going to take it on that Toge run. So once we get the Toge run downloaded, we'll head to the track, and we're going to get this random drift episode going. So we got a couple of circuits on the Yusui, 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 if I'm saying it wrong, like I said, got a couple of circuits. We got downhill and we got real downhill, which I'm not sure what the difference is, but we're going to run the real downhill We're going to run the real downhill circuit. So let's get the drift M4 out there and see what we can do. We got the car out. Not sure what kind of tune or anything we're going to be running on this. So I think we're just going to go full send on it, how it normally sits. We're going to drop the brake pressure down though, because... I like to run a softer brake pressure for left foot braking purposes. So we're just going to go full send. Oh man. That car is super loud. And it does not look like the cockpit view is in the center. So let's uh, get that adjusted over. Because of course, we're going to be driving this thing in first person as well as the other views and we got to add fuel to it because apparently we're already out of fuel our fuel lights on that would not be a very good thing to have going onto a toge road I'm gonna move this back some all right so let's go into our back to pits fuel and add a bunch of fuel add 20 so we're going to go full send in this Drift M4. Not sure how this is going to react. But that's what these random Drift episodes are all about. Five close here. No, third. Got to work any handbrake inside the car, though. 
Apparently my shifter said, no, I'm gonna go into second, not fourth. Overall, quite impressed with how this thing is driving. Oh, that's a aggressive downhill section. Back to fourth. Oh my, this car is super aggressive. We're managing it. All oh, that is much tighter than I thought. I thought I could clutch kick that. But that was much tighter than I thought. You know, we're going to be looking at the replay angle of this car. I thought we were going to smack the wall. Lights on. We got anything special? All right. Let's kick this. Apparently, fourth gear is our gear with this car. Oh, a little bit of snapback, but it's not too bad. We got this. I hate how my shifter is not recognizing my second gear into fourth or third and fourth all the time. Oh, okay. <clears throat> that was a big hit. So, I definitely don't think that view is the right view to be running. We'll take a look at the replay. Yep, didn't go into fourth again. I need to adjust my shifter. Definitely been having some shifter issues recently. So bringing out a super aggressive car onto this track, on a track I've never been on, I'm not doing too bad. It is an M4, so that's something I'm very used to. We're back at the beginning. We are back at the beginning. Did we just complete that whole circuit? Without dying, we did. So let's take, oh, as I say that we hit the wall. So let's take a look at the replay and see if we got a good replay camera. We do not have a replay camera. So we're gonna take a look at it in box cam. Where are you, box cam? just to see what we were looking like on the outside. This M4, definitely a very fun car. And uh, very impressed with how it drove, actually. Once I realized we needed to stay in fourth gear, it was more so, more stable than I thought it was gonna be. So once again, if you guys don't know anything about Boston, make sure you guys go check out Boston.co for all your drift needs for cars and tracks, competitive and fun. Big thank you to them for being a supporter of the channel and welcoming them to the channel as a supporter. Like I said, they got a bunch of my mods on there as well. I'm trying to adjust this box camera. They got a bunch of my mods on there as well with my new car packs and things like that. But this M4 was actually pretty impressive. So you guys seem to like these random drifts. This is the first Vossen edition. So if you guys want to keep seeing more of these random drifts, make sure you let me know down in the comments section down below. I'll continue to do these for you. I have a lot of fun doing them. I learn a lot of new tracks and like first time out with this track and I was able to run it full bore in this M4. This M4 physics feel very similar to mine, but if they were run off VDC physics with VDC tires, then that is extremely why the car ran the way it did. It's a shame the track doesn't have some good replay angles, but we'll watch it in box cam anyways. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you follow the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode here on a set of Corsa. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Oof. That was that hit. <laughs>